This is the honest soul intro song. I won't take too long because it's spicy, yeah. Oh, so spicy, yeah. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Honest Sauce and Spicy Stuff Reviews, and we are doing yet another hot sauce today. Um, a while back, I got a little package, of, like a, a set from Inferno Farms that I purchased, and I'm getting back into that. And um, up next is their... Where there's smoke, there's fire. Alright? So this is the next sauce. I'm expecting this to be a, like a smoky chipotle kind of thing. But, uh... Before we get into the sauce and everything, I want to go ahead and say, make sure you do this and like the video. Make sure you uh, have subscribed to the channel or share the channel so somebody else can subscribe. I know you guys got friends and family. And also, if you can hit the notification bell, I'd appreciate it. And apparently, the longer you watch the video, the more higher up it'll move as far as getting the thumbnail getting shown to people and stuff apparently that's what i've heard so if you don't really make it through all the videos all the time just try to go a little bit further than you previously do that should probably help the channel and help me out a lot i would appreciate it all right i think that's about it um i'm gonna go ahead and get ready to do the talk and if you're new to the channel in between the hot sauce in the hot sauce video i do a little section where i talk about things non-hot sauce or spicy stuff related usually pertaining to me and my own experience throughout my life and like the hard lessons I went through did I learn things the ups and downs of stuff I don't talk about anything political really I don't think I have anyway um because I'm not looking for a debate I'm not looking to change anybody's mind I'm not looking to do anything like that I'm looking to just share my experience and maybe somebody will get something out of it and that would be kind of cool right so that's all it is. Um, if you don't feel like watching that section of the video, you can go ahead and go to the timestamp that will be down here below, and that'll show you where the hot sauce review picks up. Um, or you'll know because I will have on a different outfit, and this is the only outfit I will have on for the hot sauce tasting video. All right, so I love tofu. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll get into the hot sauce video after we do the top. <sighs> All right, so let's see. I wanted to talk about how I have come to realize having witnessed things and gone through life, you know, taking a step back, working on myself, and then kind of becoming aware of things around me that I was kind of not aware of before. Um, I've really come to realize that nobody is perfect. Not me, not you, not people you uh, look up to, not famous people, not politicians, not rock stars, not actors, actresses. There's really, when I step back and I look at the bigger picture of things, I realize that like nobody is perfect at all. As a matter of fact, we're all kind of like um, beautifully flawed in certain ways and in other ways horrifically flawed, you know? I think, I think if you look at where a lot of this stuff comes from, for me, it was the type of media I was in taking. And what I mean by that, I mean like advertising, um, TV shows, movies, magazines, uh, just kind of like the gambit of all of that external stuff that we get kind of bombarded on with from a fairly young age. You know, there's been advertising as long as I can remember, you know. So we're kind of we're kind of starting to be cultivated from a young age tell, told telling us, you know, if you don't have certain toys, if you don't have a certain bicycle, if you don't play certain video games or have a certain video game system or have all the systems, you know, you're 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 kind of like 
you know, not, <clears throat> not cool, you know. And I feel like the underlying, I feel like the underlying um, message, though, of these kind of, of almost every advertising is, if you don't have this thing, um, your life's going to suck and, you know, everything's not going to be perfect like you want. You're not going to be perfect like you want if you don't have these things. And it goes from, like, every aspect of your life, what you do for money, what you eat, what you drink, what you wear, what you drive, the type of shoes you wear, you know, the type of electronics you use, the type of computer you have, the music you listen to, uh, the airline you fly, um, where you live, like just, there's like just so, so, so many things that we're um, told that have to be a certain way in our lives to make it nice and nice and wonderful. And like this, like I feel like creates like a sense of self doubt. And if you have self doubt, you're gonna totally just want to not have that. Like, who wants to have that in their life? That feeling of self doubt. <clears throat> I remember I remember uh wanting a specific bicycle. Gosh, what I was like in elementary school. I was like in third, fourth grade or something. I wanted a mongoose, right? I feel like they had just kind of come out with those. And I remember like there was, my friend had one, it was super lightweight. I thought, wow, you know, this bike, you can do like really good jumps on and, and, and race and stuff on it. You know, it's not super heavy. You know, you can pick it, I can pick it up, you know, when I was a little kid. So I asked my dad for a, for, for one for Christmas. And like, that's all I wanted was that. And I ended up getting this like, like, I don't know how much it weighed, but to myself, it felt like it weighed over 100 pounds. I could barely lift the bike up. It was this, like, I think it was a Huffy, which at the time wasn't that great of a bike. It was, like, sold at Kmart kind of thing. And I remember feeling a little bit kind of, like, not just let down by the experience, but I felt a little embarrassed about riding that bike to school. I felt like every all the other kids had all these, like, really nice Schwinn's, Mongoose, you know, um, I can't remember the other name of the other brand that was out at that time, but the mag wheels though, and you know, all that stuff. And I had this like super clunky, like I couldn't even like pop a wheelie on it. If I went off a jump, it would be like, you know, drop straight down kind of thing. And I just remember feeling um, like low self-esteem. And I, that was probably like when you start doubting, doubting yourself is when you're trying to compare yourself to others through these through these things that we're told to buy and and that'll make our lives better. And like people will look at look up to to like wealthy people or famous people or people you see on online and their lives look a certain way whether it be on social media or like on actual like network media, you know, their lives look all great and perfect and stuff and Usually in the usually in those uh those those arenas if your life doesn't look a certain way you're mocked and made fun of and used as like an example of what not to be or used as entertainment to make people feel better and if you don't know what I'm talking and if you that falls into the judgment thing if you don't know what I'm talking about go back and check the other uh the last video I did where I talk about judgment um but yeah, and, and this is a way of monetizing, like, how you're feeling in life, I feel like. Like, I feel like I've been monetized to death. You know, I always thought buying, like, something and having it would finally make my life better. I remember when I first got my first computer, I was like, oh, my God, my life is going to be so, so much easier now, you know? And, I, and the only reason I did it was because this guy, I was out at a bar, and this guy asked for my number, and I was like, I don't have a cell phone. I just have a home number. He's like, what? He goes, don't you have an email? I was like no I don't have an email and he kind of scoffed at me and it was shortly after that I got a computer and I thought my life was going to be better but like honestly I don't feel like computers have made anybody's life easier or better it helps you like get information for sure and it helps you do things task wise for sure but 
Has it made anybody's life any better being on, on the internet? If so, let me know down in the comments. <laughs> um, but yeah, that all that goes back to like monetizing, like this this feeling of yourself. Like if you if somebody if you can make people feel bad for not having something, that's advertising to me. And also it plays on it also plays off insecurities as well. Like any kind of insecurity anybody has, if they're told, if you if you look at this shiny thing and get it in your life, you know you're gonna be able to let all that go, and then you'll be like, you know. Tre trekking the world, you know, doing extreme sports, you know? Or some crazy idea of, like, some thing that'll make your life complete. It's just, I feel like it's been long enough that if, if people, at least in my perception over my lifetime, I feel like I've been alive long enough that I should have seen a progression of people talking about how great things are and how, how capitalism and business and wealthy people push push society forward and stuff and they all claim you know like to be be the answers to things and they're gonna solve problems and stuff I kind of was well, I'm not really seeing it I'm just not I mean people are starving and dying all around the world needlessly and I haven't seen one one answer to any of the troubles that the world's facing really I really haven't I haven't seen like one single like rational um, answer or from from the from people that claim to be the ones that are gonna solve all the problems um, I haven't really seen it. Instead, they're like uh, getting in um, arguments in the internet stratosphere and doing stupid stuff like flying into outer space just to say they did it and spending like who knows how many resources on doing stuff like that. And I get it, you know, businesses do create things, but so do p other people and stuff that never even have a chance to do anything because of all this other external crap that gets thrown on them all the time. You know, I'm not saying innovation is bad. I'm a, I'm a small business owner myself, you know, I, I, but I'm not looking, I'm not running around telling people, give me money and give me your trust and give me, give me, uh, your, your devotion and belief in me because I have money. And I had a good idea and was in a in the right place at the right time type of thing. And that for somehow they did it all just by themselves, which I don't believe is possible like that. And yeah, I don't think that's possible to do, to become a billionaire just by yourself. I don't think it's possible. So or famous by yourself. It takes other people to make you famous. You don't just like go, hey, I'm gonna be famous and then you're famous. It takes people willing to give you something. So it's not just you. I hope people understand what I'm saying. If I if I don't make any sense, let me know down below. But I haven't seen it, like I, the basic concept is that no real answers from anybody about all these problems that, you know, being famous and having things and being able to buy things will solve. Some of the things I've done to kind of combat all this, this kind of crap that, that I, that, that wants to drive me and I'm not free of it. I'm, I'm by no means perfect. You know, I have, I drink kom kombucha, you know, I, I have things I have, you know, Xbox and computers and all kinds of stuff that I buy. Um, I think the difference is now is I'm, I don't buy things that'll make me feel better. I buy things just for me. You know, that's why I yo-yo for me. I don't do it because I think it's gonna save the world or make me a million dollars or make me famous in any way, shape or form. And I don't even do this channel for that, you know, so, um, I think that a way to do that, to, to, to kind of combat that stuff and maybe get into a space where it doesn't, you don't really want to 
play into it anymore is to um you got to start to let go of whatever this image that you want to keep building up in your head is whether it's wearing this outfit and these glasses and these boots makes a statement about who i am um maybe think about that for a little while and ask yourself if that's really truly who you are and ask if it's necessary and then i think you'll find that you can wear like stupid crazy stuff and not even care because you don't really associate it with yourself and you'll probably find it at like a secondhand store so you're not going to be buying like some new thing that you saw a commercial for you'll be doing it for you i think everybody needs to understand they're kind of find the way they are i know it takes it it's taken me a while to to realize that i'm i'm a good person that i try hard i want to work hard i want to participate in life i don't want to hurt anybody i don't want to cause anybody any pain of any sort and i would like to you know be an asset to my community and just kind of like that whole thing of taking care of yourself and loving yourself i just want to embody that you know and i'm still working on it and i'm by no means there yet but i'm trying you know and i think if you can realize that there is good, that there is part of you that is kind of like connected to things and and once i think if you can find your way into a way of thinking about yourself as more than just what's projected from the outside that there's a lot of complexity and and good things inside of you and that there's a person there that's worthy of being that's a way to 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 real not just let go of that image and find the truth of your heart who you are but really be fine with it and just buying stuff and things to do that for yourself doesn't make the world a better place in general does it i mean because you bought an adidas shirt or a pair of air jordans or something does that make the world better and i'm not trying to be a downer trust me because i buy i buy shit too so please don't think i'm preaching to you about this i'm just trying to like you know work through my own stuff and my own uh my own bullshit with this you know yeah i think i think finding true worth in myself has been a kind of a journey that i'm still on i i realize i am worthwhile i realize i'm worthwhile and i realize all this other stuff but you know i went through decades of brainwashing that buying shit makes you a good person yeah it doesn't what makes you a good person is 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 what's in here and here and your actions in the outer world not what you buy and stuff and that allows me to accept that i'm not perfect and i might not ever be perfect i don't think that's something that you achieve i don't think there's like an end game to to life and to existence and to the evolution of not just the body and and mind but of the soul I think there's like this evolution to all that stuff. So um it's it's continuous. You know, totally continuous. Anyway, on that note, I hope you guys are enjoying this content. I like talking about these heady things and these things that I that are challenging to me and I feel like should are challenging to probably everybody else too. Um, I enjoy talking about them and my my kind of perception of it or things I've been through. I hope this makes sense. If it didn't, I'll have to re-record this. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and get into the hot sauce video, okay? Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the talk. And let's go ahead and get into Inferno Farms. Uh, where there's smoke, there's fire. They all have the little gnome on here. But there's something written on the side. Let's go ahead and read it. It says... So the little, there's a little writing on the side, a little story or something. So let's go ahead and read that. It says, This well-rounded smokiness from the chipotle and roasted peppers adds a newfound depth to this delightfully hot sauce. The robust flavors heighten the character of your food in ways no other sauce can. Discover the subtle sweetness from the pomegranate in a surprising twist that works marvelously with an array of hearty fare. You'll be blowing smoke rings before you know it. Good with roasted meats, veggies, and poultry. 
Heat is heat, but flavor is king. And then in really small writing, it says, Only 100% natural ingredients to bring you the best tasting sauce possible. We hope you enjoy and come back for more. Greg Foster, sauce master. Dude, I want to like go to school and be a sauce master. Let's go ahead and get into the ingredients. And what we got is... Pomegranate juice, roasted peppers, water, hot chili peppers, onion, fresh lime juice, apple cider vinegar, garlic, guajillo pepper, chipotle pepper, sea salt, ancho pepper spice, and xanthan gum. And I just, I just, xanthan gum drives me nuts. Let's go ahead and have a look at this and open it. All right, I don't know if we're going to be able to see anything in this bottle. Well, I guess you can. Kind of. I bet you it's thick. It's really dark looking. Maybe not too thick. We'll find out once we open it. Alright. It's very dark looking. Almost looks like a, that uh, high desert sauce, cafe mole sauce, right? Cafe mole. Oop. It's not terribly thin, but not thick either. That's actually a little more thinner than I thought it was going to be. Very dark in color, almost chocolate looking. Almost like chocolate, you know? Very pulpy. Thin pouring, thinner pouring, but very pulpy and stuff. So I'm expecting this to hit me in the face with smoke once I get, once I get into smelling it and stuff. So let's not hesitate. Oh, wow, that smells really deep and rich. I, I'm getting a little smoke. It's not, like, blowing me away, though. Um, I mean, I can smell some of the peppers, but they're not, like, super up front or anything. And what is that noise outside? I feel like there's, like, a dump truck somewhere, which is weird. But, all right. Is there a tomato in that? Is there a tomato? I feel like there's roasted tomatoes. Hmm. I can get more of the smokiness the, the more I smell it. There's no tomatoes in there. I think it's just the roasted red peppers that are giving that. My mouth is starting to water. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what it meant when they said uh, hot chili peppers. I don't, I don't know what that means. I guess it's their blend of mash they use. I don't know. So this could actually pack a punch. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be bracing for something really hot. So... Without further ado, this is Inferno Farms, where there's smoke. Cheers, everybody. Got me in the throat. Got some seeds. Smoky. Sweet. A lot of, uh, there was an initial heat that I thought was going to get me. Because it kind of hit me in the back of the throat when I swallowed it. And I got a bunch of pepper seeds in my mouth. Um, but it's dissipating already. The heat um, ramped up really quick and is falling away. Uh, you got the sweetness from the pomegranate juice. I'm assuming that's what that was. And this is more just like a very forward pepper sauce. There's not a whole lot of spices going on. There's some garlic and onion in there. But it's just letting the roasted peppers and the... Uh, the chipotle and the guajillo and like all that stuff it's just letting it kind of do its thing and it's very tasty um i think it might be a little too much for lighter fares such as shrimp or other types of delicate seafood but this would be really good on beef or pork possibly chicken too depending on what you're doing with the chicken it'd be pretty good um i would like to try this in like uh, an aioli or some kind of sandwich dressing or even a salad dressing would be good It'd be good on mac and cheese. It'd be good on pizza. I would try it on tacos even. Um, anything kind of Tex-Mexy would be good. You could use this and add it to chili. It would make a good like addition to some chili. I feel like it would be really good in like some soups and stews too. If you want to like a little smokiness and ramp it up, you know, especially something like um, like a beef stew, probably be super good in. Um, and anything grilled, you know, you could probably do it, do it on vegetables and things like that. It would probably be okay, and it would probably not not blow away the flavors of the vegetables or anything else you did to them. It would just be kind of an accompaniment if you just lightly brushed it. So, 
Um, the heat's already going away. I might have got to like a one and a half, maybe, well, one. Um, I, at first, I was like, oh, it's going to get me. And I was like bracing for like an, an additional ramp up of this thing because it hit me in the back so hard, of the throat so hard. But totally manageable. Didn't. I can still taste the smokiness in my mouth from it. Um, and it didn't like blow me out. So uh, it's a good one. If you like smoky sauces, this is a smoky sauce that I think you should try. It's pretty good. There's some other smoky sauces out there that are good too and everything. There's some other smoky sauces out there that I like a little bit better than this, but but it's a good sauce. It's a good solid smoky sauce. So um, if you haven't checked it out or if you've had this, let me know what you think about it. Let me also know what other sauces you like from Inferno Farms. Oh, my nose is running a little bit. And I will make an effort to try those if I haven't already gotten them, you know, because I do have like, I feel like three more to do and stuff. So Kat's trying to come up here and mess with me right now yeah check them out and that's about all i got to say about that sauce good i'm gonna i'm gonna use the bottle up and use it as a way to enhance things i think so if you've made it this far in the video everybody i just want to say thanks for watching i really really appreciate your time you taking giving up time to watch me review hot sauces or talk about my own personal experiences in life i appreciate that it means a lot to me um, I love making videos, so if you're liking the content and stuff, let me know down below. And, um, yeah, I think it's that time of the video where I tell you guys to keep loving yourself, nurture yourself, take care of yourself, and just kind of push that stuff out to everybody around you. And I think you'll start to see a little bit of shift in your own worldview of, like, what life means and stuff, okay? All right? And until next time, keep trying hot sauce and spicy stuff. I love you all. Peace! What is going on outside? This is the honest soul intro song. I won't take too long because it's spicy, yeah. Oh, so spicy, yeah. Do, 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 do. Pomegranate juice. Uh, uh. Let's start that again. I'm gonna keep it straight with you now. I'm gonna keep it straight with you now.